Born and raised here in, in Lockhart, Texas. A sign of our time, says lifelong Lockhart resident Margaret Carter. I never, never would have imagined that in Lockhart <laughs> that I would see the day that this monument would be removed. I am rejoicing. I am happy. I am more hopeful than I've ever been in Lockhart today. Change is coming. <laughs> Flanked by her nine-year-old grandson, Micah Monday. We don't have to witness this pain anymore. Margaret watched as the Caldwell County Commissioner's Court <laughs> accepted the $29,600 she helped raise from 280 people to remove this Confederate monument from the county courthouse lawn. Private funds had put it there. The daughters of the Confederacy had raised private funding to place that there in 1923. And so we felt it only fair and right that private funds pay to for the relocation of it. Judge Hoppy Hayden was part of a seven-person citizen review panel that studied the monument. I'll be frank with you. At first, I was, I'm was i a person that does not like to see history erased. I think it should be contextualized so that it... it uh, evokes conversation. Researching the monument, Judge Hayden quickly felt it had to move. I discovered that there in 1923 was a large Ku Klux Klan rally right here on the courthouse lawn and the county judge at the time spoke at it. That's something I wasn't okay with. Also saw an article about the actual ceremony when it was placed there and I, I wasn't okay with the ceremony. The monument has stood on courthouse grounds for a little less than 100 years. How can anyone expect to get a fair shake in the courtroom when they have to walk by a tribute to the institution of enslavement and people that use violence to protect their right to treat other people like chattel? Judge Hayden says this week, contractors will begin the process of moving the monument to the Caldwell County Museum. I just want uh, people to understand that we're not trying to uh, erase history. Uh, we're trying to put history in its proper context.